Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing another Timu haul. I love doing these videos so much and I know you guys like watching them as well. So I'm super excited for this video. I will have everything that is in this video linked in the description box below. And also, if you're a new Timu app user, make sure to use my affiliate link or my affiliate code and you'll get a chance to get up to $100 worth of coupons plus a discount on your first order. So all you have to do is either click the link in the description box below or you can use my affiliate code and type that code into the search box on the Timu app. Okay, let's get straight into the haul now. So this first thing I'm showing you is a dip and acrylic nail kit. So it's a two-in-one. You can use it as dip powder or you can also use it as acrylic. I got it because I wanted to try out dip nails, but I've never tried acrylic either, so I might eventually try that as well. So I'm just gonna show you everything that comes in this kit, and then later on I'm going to swatch all the colors. And then in a different video, I'm going to actually be trying it out on my nails, so make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for that. This first thing I pulled out of the kit is a cuticle pusher and then on the other end it's the little thing you use to scrape the dead skin. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it has a name or not but um, yeah I like using these as cuticle pushers. So this next thing we have a little miniature file. It's always nice to have some extra files. There's also a little miniature buffer. It's very, very smooth to the touch. It's barely coarse at all, so I would not want to use this buffer before applying anything to my nails, but if I just have my natural nails and I just want to smooth them out or, any, or whatever, then this would be great for that, but it wouldn't be very good if you're trying to um, roughen up your nails or remove the shine and stuff like that. Next there is a brush so you can remove the excess powder before applying the top coat and everything like that and just great for dusting off nail dust after buffing and things. Um, I thought I would mention this brush is like really soft. Not that that really matters or anything but it's just way softer than any other brushes I have so that is pretty nice. Now I'm taking out the four liquids that this kit comes with. So first there is step one which is the base coat and then step two is the activator, step three is the top coat, and then step four is a brush saver which is just like um, if you get the acrylic on a brush and it like dries out, the brush saver is supposed to like dissolve it and get it off really easily. This kit comes with six different colors and like I said, I am going to swatch them later in this video. So I'm just going to show them off really quickly. So you can get other colors with this kit if you don't like these colors. They have a lot to choose from, but I ended up getting this one with a white, light pink, sparkly silver, sparkly blue, um, kind of like a reddish pink color, and then a red. And that is it for everything that came with the dip powder kit, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next items in this haul. First thing, I got a sheet of stickers. I'm trying to grow my sticker collection a little bit more. I don't really have that many and it's nice to have stickers when you just want a quick manicure, but you also want it to have some nail art and look super cute. And I just could not like not get these stickers because they are just so, so pretty and cute. I'm really excited to use them. I know they're kind of like summery vibes because it's like a beach theme, but I mean, I'll wear them in winter. They're just so pretty. 
and um, it comes with tweezers. They are plastic, so not as nice as metal, but I mean, it's nice that it comes with um, the stickers because usually I just get stickers and it doesn't come with anything else. And it even also comes with this little tool here. You can use it to like rub the sticker down so it's completely flat onto your nail. Moving on to the next item, I got some press on nails. I actually have another set as well I will be showing later in this video and I'm actually giving them to someone else because um, I like to make my own nails so um, but I thought I would want to include these in the haul just for those of you that do like um, wearing press on nails. And I think these are really pretty. And then these press-ons also come with sticky tabs and then a little mini file. I got some black glitter because I actually do not have black glitter. And I was thinking Halloween is coming up here soon. So I feel like it would be really cute for a Halloween set. This next thing I actually have gotten before, but in purple, and I decided to change it up a little bit this time, so I got pink, and they're basically like little micro Q-tips that are lint-free, um, and they're really nice just for cleaning up um, a mistake when you're doing nail art, or if you accidentally get gel polish on your skin, or anything like that. They are so nice to have, definitely recommend. I will say that eventually, if you keep on putting the little tip in acetone, they will eventually fall off, but I like them well enough to get them again. And there are quite a few, I think it comes with 50, so they do last a while. This next thing I was really excited about and they are just little um, silver snake charms. I just think they're so so cool and I'm just going to feel so cool wearing snakes on my nails whenever I do make a set with these. Um, I wish I had these for when I did the Taylor Swift um, album for each nail because I definitely would have used one of these charms for the reputation nail but anyways um, here I'm just showing you kind of the size compared to my nail and I have fake nails on so they're definitely longer than like the average natural nail but you can kind of compare and see um, I think they would fit on an average sized um, thumbnail if you like didn't have an extension but on like an average size like regular fingernail I don't know if they would fit so um, definitely I'm going to be using these um, nail charms when I have extensions on and then I just thought I would zoom in a little bit so you can see them more up close Next item I picked up is this chrome powder and in the picture it kind of looked more of a copper color but it's actually kind of a pinkish rose gold color and I am going to swatch it here very soon. It ends up being really really similar to a chrome that I already have so I might like give it away to someone or something but um yeah. I always love some chrome. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you guys. I always do my chrome swatches underneath the black gel polish, but um, you can do it underneath any color or even just a top coat. Um, and also like it doesn't have to be gel polish either, but that's just what I use. So, and usually depending on what color of gel polish you have underneath the chrome, the chrome will turn out a little bit differently. So if I were to use a white underneath this chrome, it probably would have been a little bit lighter of a color. But anyways, how I like to do my chrome is just apply the gel polish color that I want to use. And then I cure that and then I apply a top coat, but I only cure it for half of the time that it says to cure. 
um, because I want the top coat to be a little bit tacky so the chrome can apply nicely and stick on to the top coat. Then I apply the chrome, then I put a top coat over that, and then that is it. Here's how the swatch turned out. Since it is like really reflective, it is kind of hard to see on camera since it's reflecting all the light. But I hope you guys can get a little bit of an idea what it looks like. The next item I got from Timu is this bag of rhinestones, just a mixture of different sizes and shapes. And they have a cool like holographic look to them. I do not have rhinestones like this, so I thought it would be fun to get some. There are all sorts of shapes. I saw hearts, diamonds, little tiny round ones, and I even saw some bears, which I thought were so adorable. Next, I got a tin pack of these little miniature nail glue bottles. I would have just gotten a one big one, but I think they were out of stock or I just couldn't find them. So I ended up getting these, but I think it'll be really great for just like sticking one in my purse or if I'm going to go on a trip, I can just take a couple and they're just really nice to like have for traveling and stuff like that. And here's those other press-on nails I was talking about, and I didn't even know that I got the same brand, but this is the same brand as the other press-on nails I, I showed at the beginning of the video. And like I said, I am giving them to someone else, so I'm not going to um, like show them on my nails or anything, but the same as the other ones, they come with sticky tabs and a little miniature file. Next, I got some white glitter because I do not have white glitter and I thought I would probably use it sometime. Um, it just comes in this little bottle, kind of like the other black glitter that I showed earlier in the video. And yeah, super simple but super pretty. Let's see if I can open this without making a mess because it's super easy to make a mess with glitter. And I actually saw like a little blue thing in the glitter bottle and I was just really curious. So I got my tweezers and I got it out and it's actually just a little heart sequin. So I got a free blue heart sequin in this bottle. I guess those plastic tweezers that came with the stickers did actually come in handy. So next I just have a pack of some paper forms. I've never used paper forms before, but I am wanting to try them out. I have some builder gel I can use with them, or I also just got poly gel recently. I've never tried poly gel before, but I'm sure I will use the paper forms with that eventually as well. This is the last item I'm going to show in this Timu haul, and then I will move on to swatching those dip powders I showed at the beginning of the video. So this last item I got is just a little bag of some sanding bands. I don't know how good quality they are, but I thought I would try them out because I just recently got an e-file. Okay, so now I'm going to get into all of the swatching of the dip powders. I'm actually not going to be dipping them, but I'm going to be pouring the powder over the swatch stick. Just because the swatch stick does not fully fit into the container because they are so small. I've seen people use cupcake liners, but I didn't have any, but I did have this coffee filter, so I'm going to be doing everything over that. Just in case I end up spilling like a lot, I can pour it back into the bottle. I'm starting out with white first, and then we will get into the more interesting colors. So first thing, I'm taking step one, which is the base coat, and just applying that to the swatching stick. And then I'm going to just pour that dip powder over the nail. Then I'm going to apply the base coat again and do a second layer. I am doing um, two coats for 
all of these swatch sticks and also just brushing off the excess powder before applying the next base coat. And then I'm just applying that second coat with the dip powder and then I'll apply the activator and the activator smelled absolutely horrible. I'm not used to that smell because I've never done dip powder before. The base coat and the top coat smell fine, like they don't bother me that much. It's not that strong of a smell, but the activator is just really, really bad. And I was like holding my breath. It was so bad. I mean, I would wear a mask next time, but even with a mask, you would still be able to smell through it. So, um, yeah, just something to point out if you are really bothered by smells like that. But anyways, moving on, I did buff this one, but I feel like I didn't really need to because it is just a swatch stick. So for the rest of them, I'm not going to buff, but if they were on my actual nails, I would buff and make sure it's all completely smooth and everything. And then finally, the step three, the top coat. I'm just applying that now. I would prefer just to use a gel top coat if I were doing it on my actual nails, just cause that's my preference. But this top coat worked completely fine. It dried really quickly. And here's how the white dip powder turned out. I am going to go through the rest of them a little bit more quickly, but for this one, I just wanted to explain step by step how I did it. Next is a very light pink, and I really ended up liking this color. I feel like I'm going to use this one a lot. It's just a nice kind of neutral color that would go well with nail art or like French tips or just anything like that. Super pretty. Dangerous times don't fly too high. I was really excited to try the two sparkly dip powders. So this first sparkly one is just the silver one. Next is this blue sparkly one, and for some reason I had trouble with this one. I didn't have trouble with any of the others, but this one, it just wasn't even. I applied the powder and like some areas would stick on and then some areas would just kind of fall off. And um, you'll kind of see what I mean, but in the end it ended up lumpy and you can like see through certain areas and then other areas are like thicker and i don't know what went wrong i only have two more to swatch so this next one is kind of a pinkish red more of a pink but it has a little bit of hints of red in there but darker than that lighter pink i was swatching earlier And lastly, we have a nice bright red. And the red one was actually the only one that stained the brushes, but I'm assuming that brush saver would just get that stain out. I haven't tried it yet, but I definitely will. Here are all those colors together, and like I said, I will be trying out this dip powder kit in a separate video on my actual nails, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And I would like to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like this video if you did like it. And also go follow my Instagram and TikTok. I post pretty frequently on there. 
and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye!